Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing today? Welcome to the POCO first online launch event in 2021. Thank you all for joining us. My name is Kevin. I'm the head of POCO Global, and I'm very excited to be back here. We got some exciting news to share with you. But first, let's recap 2020. 2020, it was a great year for us. We also announced that POCO was independent last November. And we released some awesome products, smartphones that took the market by storm. Since last year in May, we launched the POCO F2 Pro, which was at the time, and even now, one of the most affordable flagship killer with a Snapdragon 865. Then we had a POCO X3 NFC, which really disrupted the mid-range market with flagship specs such as 120Hz refresh rate and 240 touch sampling rate and features like dual speakers. And the POCO M3 was the entry-level battery based, packing 6,000 mAh battery and all the essential and more. All three devices were loved by the media and was really priced for its performance and value. But not just media, we received the fan feedback on social media as well from all over the world, telling us how they really enjoyed the smartphones we released. And recently, we launched a new POCO official website. It's a brand new design website with the ability to purchase pro products. A custom experience for our fans. Make sure you check it out. There will be special promotions on our website. It's waiting for you. Talking about fans, in November last year, we launched the Poker community. We also got an update. Today, we will upgrade the Poker community to be available on Android as well. You can experience Poker community with a tailored made UI and I look forward in seeing you guys on there. It's available on Google Play Store. Make sure to download it. There will be special events going on. Right now, we're currently looking for POCO community moderators. It's important to let our fans in the process of building this family. For those who join the journey of POCO, our fans are the reason why we continue to thrive to make great products. Our community powers us. And because of this community, we reach the big milestone. As of right now, we have shipped out more than 13 million POCO smartphones around the world. As a three-year-old brand, this was an achievement that's really proud of and gives the POCO team more confidence than ever. But what's even more amazing is that we have over 4 million shipments in one specific model, the POCO X3 NFC, in just seven months of launch. This was a result we didn't expect, but certainly not surprised. With our philosophy of exactly what you need, we were able to nail down camera, design, performance, and battery. This is why POCO X3 NFC was awarded the number one all-around mid-range smartphone in 2020 by GSM Arena because our users loved it. But at POCO, we want to make sure we can do more, making sure we meet even more fans' need. So I would like to welcome Angus on stage to talk about today's upcoming products. Welcome, Angus. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. And hello, everyone. My name is Angus, and I'm the head of product marketing at POCO. And today, I will be introducing our latest smartphones. 
let's talk about exactly what you need and more. Introducing our latest X series. The Poco X3 Pro. Now, the key word for this smartphone is more. We're going to talk about some of the upgrades it's gotten over its previous generation, the Poco X3 NFC. First, we have more performance. Now, last year, with the Poco X3 NFC, we global debuted the 732G, a great mid-range chipset. But some fans may think X-Series is a mid-range segment. We will most likely launch a better 700 series, offering a better mid-range performance. But actually, for the Pro, we're going to take it up one notch, offering flagship performance. For the Poco X3 Pro, we'll be releasing the leading 4G processor in 2021, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860. The X3 Pro is actually the very first model to use this processor, and the Snapdragon 860 may be one of the last 4G flagship chipset for a while. As an 800 series processor, it uses a flagship structure and only a 7 nanometer process. And this prime core has a pretty high 2.96 gigahertz speed, offering a ton of power. So when we compare the Snapdragon 860 to last year's flagship 865, there are a lot of similarities. The 800 series structure with one prime core, three performance cores, and four efficiency cores. Now 700 series usually do two performance cores and six efficiency cores. It's lacking that big prime core. It's also an octa-core CPU with 7 nanometer process. And the GPU is also Adreno 600 series. Actually, let's talk about the GPU. The Snapdragon 860 comes with the Qualcomm Adreno 640, offering smooth gaming. And we did an FPS test on this with one of the most popular games in the industry, the Genshin Impact. The result? was quite amazing. Using the Snapdragon 860, we were able to get a stable 50 frames per second on average, and the settings were on high. I can confidently say in the 4G processor segment, there isn't many chipsets that can perform this well. But besides GPU, the A60 have a great AI engine as well. Up to 7.6 trillion operations per second also one of the highest in the 4G segment, which allows photo editing and video editing faster and quicker. The combination of a great CPU, GPU, and AI, the X3 Pro's Snapdragon 860 got a very high Antutu benchmark of around 490,000. Among the 4G chipsets, this is definitely one of the best scores, if not the best. To give you an idea of why this is impressive, let's take a look at a few comparisons. Now, if we take one of the most commonly used 4G processor in the market in the last year or two and compare, the Snapdragon 720G has an average Antutu score of almost 280,000. But that is 76% in difference compared to the A60. The performance difference is massive. But not only that, let's compare with another 700 series, the Snapdragon 765G, which is a 5G chipset. It's one of the best processors in 700 series, regardless if it was 5G or 4G. But the difference here is still very obvious, 52% better performance with the A60. Now, I know some fans across the stream may be wondering, how come we're comparing against 700 series? 700 series is a standard for mid-range smartphones on the market. At Poco, we're raising that standard and showing our fans it's most certainly possible to put an 800 series in the mid-range segment. So simple, Poco X3 Pro offers flagship 4G performance. But processor isn't the only part we made a change. We've also added UFS 3.1 
which is a standard in high-end flagships these days, but still pretty rare in the mid-range segment. Having UFS 3.1, you can get write speed up to 198% faster than 2.1. It's the perfect combination with the A60. And for our UFS 3.1, you can now get up to 256 gigabyte of internal storage. Compared to last year's POCO X3 NFC, it's an upgrade from 128 gigabytes. But we also have a shocking expandable storage, up to 1 TB. That's amazing. You could potentially have almost 1.3 terabyte of storage space on the POCO X3 Pro. Now just think about that for a second. That's more storage space than most standard laptops. Of course, we didn't forget to upgrade our RAM as well. From a 6 gig option only for the POCO X3 NFC, we're giving more RAM in the X3 Pro, up to 8 gigs of RAM, flagship level. So actually, we didn't just upgrade the 4G performance. We did the whole package, offering a complete flagship performance, the Snapdragon A60, the leading 4G processor, up to 8 gigs of RAM, flagship level, and UFS 3.1, up to 256 gigs and still kept expandable storage and pushed that to one terabyte. All of these performance providing more speed and power for your daily usage. Now powering all this performance, we still have a huge battery of 5,160 milliamp, offering easily two days battery. I remember seeing a lot of great comments about how good the POCO X3 NFC battery is, and many people claiming this is one of the best battery phone out in the market. And even with the 800 series processor, we're still getting great single usage time. 11 hours of gaming, 117 hours of music, 18 hours of video playback, and almost six and a half hours of 1080p video recording. And when you do need to charge it, it really doesn't take long, even for a big battery like this. With our MMT 33-watt fast charging, the POCO X3 Pro can reach 100% in just 59 minutes. And I used to be the type of person that likes to leave my phone charging overnight. But now, the battery can easily last over for two days. I usually charge it in the morning when I wake up and I get ready for work. By the time I leave, it's all juiced up. Super convenient. So POCO X3 Pro, more performance with flagship 4G processor, flagship 8 gigs RAM option, flagship UFS 3.1 storage, up to 256 gigabyte, that awesome 5,160 milliamp battery with 33 watt fast charging. And of course, we did keep the liquid cool technology 1.0 plus for sustainable performance. This is exactly the performance you need, and more. Now, thanks to the performance upgrade, the POCO X3 Pro can get even more creative than before. Using the A60 with the AI performance boost, more software features are made available. Let's take a look at the X3 Pro's camera. Now, the X3 Pro still features a quad camera setup a 48-megapixel main camera using the Sony IMX582, a 119-degree ultra-wide camera, a macro camera, and a depth sensor. Let's check out some sample shots. First, we have the main camera shot. We took a part of a bike and shot the gear setup. As you can see, the focus and the coloring on the gear is on point. How different the lighting in the background gives it the shade on the metal finish. But actually, if we go closer, we could see something even cooler in detail. When you turn on your macro camera and shoot closer, you can actually see the water droplets on the gear. Super small details can be seen with macro mode. Then, when you take a portrait shot with a depth sensor, with this mode, you can see how it captured with great details and blurring out the background, only focusing on the model. And this mode is very easy to use. And of course, the 119 ultra-wide angle camera, which is great for architecture shots like this. 
you can see how even the wide angle, you can still maintain the brightness contrast on this specific shot. But because we have the Snapdragon 860 AI comp capabilities, we can capture it not just during the day, but also at night. In this photo, with ultra night mode turned on, when you're in a dark environment with some lights in the background, it actually boosts the brightness contrast while maintaining the colors. Now, this mode is honestly great when you're trying to take a night scenery shots of cities as well. But most importantly, we do have the video features that's powered by the Snapdragon 860, specifically video clones and dual video. Let's check out both video out right now. That was some awesome videos. And to support our dual video, we actually have a 20 megapixel in display front camera, which we also added a new feature, night mode selfie. Now, I don't usually take selfies myself, but when I do, I often find myself usually taking it in a pretty dark environment. Whether it's restaurants or outside in the street lights, this specific mode helps increase the contrast while keeping the clarity. This is Poco X3 Pro's camera, with more software features powered by the Snapdragon 860 and maintaining a quad camera setup from last generation. You'll get a lot of versatile content to play around with and rule over the social media space. Make sure you go explore other amazing features in the X3 Pro. There are a lot of them to play around with. And now for design. We've also changed a little bit on the X3 Pro. The Poco X3 NFC was a unique looking device, but we wanted to make it even cooler than before. First, we still kept the Poco reflective chroma design that still stand out and still looks very cool. And we kept it symmetrical as well. We called it the finish line design before, but it wasn't perfect. We actually saw some complaints about the back design, such as a lot of fingerprints when fans aren't using the case, for the Pro, we've made a change. We've used a dual texture in the back. So on the sides of X3 Pro, it has a matte finish, so it can prevent fingerprints. But besides making these small details, we've also added three new colors. We have the Phantom Black, the Frost Blue, and the Metal Bronze. All three colors are brand new and refined, a more complicated coloring process than before. My favorite is actually the Phantom Black. It has a touch of purple under to it, under the light. But the blue and metal bronze is pretty awesome looking too. It's very eye-catching. Let us know which color you like most in the comments. Now we talked about the back design. Let's actually briefly take a look at the front display. For our X3 Pro's display, we kept the 6.67 inch dot display, keeping it super immersive. We still have that tiny, tiny dot at the top, same size as the previous generation. And it's still a flagship level display that features 120 hertz refresh rate and 240 hertz touch sampling rate. Still great for gaming and daily usage, whether when you're scrolling through Instagram or Twitter. And the X3 Pro also kept Dynamic Switch, an awesome smart tech that helps save battery by automatically adjusting each content you view to its most optimized frame rate. I personally thought this was one of the smartest feature on the X3 NFC, and the X3 Pro had to have it. Overall, the X3 Pro still has an amazing screen, but yet we still took it to the next level. On the X3 Pro, we added Corning Gorilla Glass 6, 
giving flagship level display protection. For those who don't know how good Corning Gorilla Glass 6 is, it's the level between Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and the latest Victus. To give you a better idea, Corning Gorilla Glass 6 is a true flagship feature. Phones that are priced above 1,000 USD has it, and so does the X3 Pro. Impressive, right? So to sum it all up, on the X3 Pro's design, we have three new colors, Phantom Black, Frost Blue, and Metal Bronze. All three looks really good. Anti-fingerprint sized to keep it more clean, a massive 6.67 inch dot display that still maintained 120 hertz refresh rate and 240 hertz to sampling rate. All that protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 in the front. This is exactly the design and display you need and more. So we've upgraded Poco X3 Pro to not only offer exactly what you need, but we gave you more performance, more creativity, and more design. But we did keep some other great features from the X3 NFC that's still worth mentioning. The dual speaker setup. With the X3 Pro, you're still getting a great audio no matter what you're doing. Gaming, or watching videos, or listening to music. And I say it's a great audio, with confidence, because we actually got tested by DXO Mark Audio. For our X3 NFC speakers, which is the same as the X3 Pro, we were able to get a DXO Mark audio score of 63. Now, that may not seem super impressive just by itself, but what about this? Let's take a look at one of the flagships from last year that was also tested for DXO Mark audio. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G scored 68, just a little bit above Poco X3 NFC. But look at the price difference. It's fair to say we're pretty much on the same level as flagships. And when it comes to touch, we still have a great Z-axis linear motor. It's super responsive when you're gaming and giving you the ultimate fear experience. And this feature is still uncommon to see in the mid-range smartphone range. And lastly, the essential features, IR blaster, NFC, and headphone jack. Features that we believe are still very much needed based on the demands we see from users. Poco X3 Pro has it all. So we kept some great features from the Poco X3 NFC. Big battery of 5,160 milliamp and 33 watt fast charge, 120 hertz refresh rate and 240 hertz touch sampling rate on a 6.67 inch dot display, the dual speakers, the Z-axis linear motor, NFC, IR blaster, and headphone jack. The features we had in exactly what you need. And when it comes to more, we gave you a 800 series processor, the 860, leading 4G processor, up to 8 gigabyte of RAM, up to 256 internal storage of UFS 3.1, and Corning Gorilla Glass 6, and a quad camera with more software features. This is exactly what you need and more. Now, price. I believe today we won't disappoint our fans at all. We will be offering a great price. But first, let's do a comparison. If we take a look at some of the popular mid-rangers in the market in 2020 until now, we've highlighted our strong points. Flagship 860 processor, big screen with high refresh rate and touch sampling rate, huge battery with 33 hour fast charge. Now, their price is roughly starting at 450 euros and more. But let's just not compare to others. There is an old saying that it only matters when you've outdone yourself. So let's take a look at a comparison with the Poco X3 NFC. With a massive processor upgrade, RAM upgrade, and storage speed upgrade, and maintaining all the beloved features from the X3 NFC, our 6 gigabyte plus 128 gigabyte option, that time for X3 NFC, had a retail price of 269 euros. And we did do an early bird of 249 euros, which at the time, I believe shocked many fans. I was shocked myself. But for the X3 Pro, for our base variant of 6 gigabyte, 
and 128 gigabyte, we do have an amazing price. It starts at 249 euros. Now, I'm curious how many fans across the stream, their jaws dropped, or maybe even said, how is that even possible? But we still have an early bird price to show you. For the base variant, we have an early bird price of 229 euros. Now, we did put a question mark here, actually. But remember when we had a shocking achievement that Kevin mentioned of 4 million Poco X3 NFC shipped in just seven months? We want to use this time to thank our fans. So we tweaked the early bird price a little. We actually have an early bird pricing on the base variant for 199 euros. Now, I'm confident many fans are commenting like crazy right now. Because I was hyped when I first heard this, we were able to do this. But what made me even more shocked was when I looked back at this. If we take a look at this chart, look at the upgrades, then the retail price and the early bird compared to the X3 NFC, can you see how amazing and crazy this pricing is? If we break it down, our retail price for the Pro is 20 euros less than the X3 NFC, and 50 euros less in early bird. It's amazing and simply shocking, but we wanted to do it for our fans as a thank you for supporting us all this time, especially in our X series. Now, for our higher variant of 8 gigabyte plus 256 gigabyte, we also have an amazing price that starts at 299 euros. Now, this is truly great value. Of course, for our high variant, we do have an early bird pricing. It starts at 279 euros. Now, you see the question mark again, because we like to play it fair here at Poco. We wouldn't just do it for the base variant and not for the high variant. For the high variant, we actually have an early bird price of 249 euros. Now, with this pricing, I'm going to make a stronger statement here. This makes Poco X3 Pro one of the most affordable 4G flagship on the market and one of the best value smartphone as well. And when you look at this chart again, see our early bird pricing or even the retail pricing, we beat our competitors in most of the features. And at our base variant, we're more than half the price on discount. This is how we do it at Poco. Now, to get this crazy price phone, the X3 Pro, it will be available from March 24th to April 1st on early bird pricing specifically for these channels. Our new official Poco website will be one of the first channels you can check out. So make sure you mark your calendars. Don't miss out on this deal. I hope all the fans will be adding this to their cart on this date. Now, we'll also be coming soon on a lot more platforms. So please follow our official accounts in your regions to stay up to date on when it will be available. And we also got one more thing. We will also be offering a free of charge one screen replacement within six months of purchase. Please check your local region and terms of conditions for more information. So here it is in summary. The Poco X3 Pro, starting at 199 euros for early bird and 249 euros on a higher variant for early bird as well. Flagship 4G performance with awesome features and a crazy price. This is exactly what you need and more. Now, I know these questions are happening right now in the stream and has been happening over social media as well. At Poco, we hear our fans, and I can say it's here. We understand how important F-Series is for our fans. F-Series started the journey, the series that caught the eyes and attention of fans and media in the industry, disrupted the market, and established what we're doing here at Poco is very important. Today, we will be launching the latest F-Series, the long-awaited Poco F3. And the team came up with one term to really describe what the Poco F3 is, the real beast. Now, let's get started. Let's talk about this real beast. I know our fans can't wait. Performance. The one spec I know our fans want to hear first, and maybe most important 
for F-Series. For the F3, we have put an immense amount of consideration of which processors should we use. And there was one choice that was perfect. The Snapdragon 870, one of the latest Qualcomm 800 series chipset. In short, I can tell you the Snapdragon 870 offers B-Speed. It's very fast and it's very capable. Now let me explain some of the details of this specific chipset and what makes it special. First, the Snapdragon 870 uses an octa-core structure with three different types of cores. A similar structure as last year's chipset, the Snapdragon 865. We have one prime core, three performance cores, and four efficiency cores, a flagship structure. And of course, we're also seven nanometer process, making this A70 very power efficient. Tiny, but it's mighty. But special, I said special earlier, and what does 870 do that is special for our fans? And that is its prime core. This Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 have a leading prime core speed of 3.2 gigahertz. If you take a look at other flagship phones with other flagship processors in this market, the 870 takes the number one spot. But what does prime core speed actually do for our users? If you compare it to A65 again, the A70 has improved by 12% in the single core CPU performance, processing any apps with ease and offering true B speed. And when it comes to gaming, the GPU structure is using the Adreno 650. By using this structure and paired with our prime core, the GPU experience has also improved. More than 10% improvement compared to the 865. Now for some of you, this may seem like a small number, but I've used the Poco F2 Pro, which features the 865 all year last year, and I did some heavy gaming on it. And my settings were always on high or max graphics, and that handled it with ease. To think that there is a further improvement on this is pretty wild. But we also did a gaming test with one of the most popular games in the industry right now, Genshin Impact and the result was amazing. We ran the Poco F3 on high settings with 60 FPS max and played for one hour straight. With the F3, you can get an average of 58 frame rate per second. That's Beast Gaming. To support that, we needed to keep the Beast cool. We added Liquid Cool Technology 1.0 Plus, which really helps with long period of heavy load usage time keeping the processor cooler, allowing it to run longer and smoother. But not only the pro performance the Snapdragon 870 is great at, when it comes to AI processing, the F3 can reach up to 15 trillion operations per second. And that's one of the best performance AI processing from a flagship chipset, taking photos and videos with ease and making your overall experience just so much smoother. And when you add CPU, GPU, and AI, the question of Poco F3's N2 score, it actually scored a very high score of 640,000, a true flagship level N2 2, a real beast. Comparing to last year's Snapdragon A65 score that we got in the Poco F2 Pro, it has quite the improvement, almost 60,000 points in difference. To sum it all up, it's simple. The Snapdragon 870 in the Poco F3 is one of the best processors in the industry right now, offering B speed. To pair with that, with such an awesome processor, we had to also match up RAM and ROM. Technology up to 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 and up to 8 gigabytes of RAM from LPDDR5, offering beast RAM and ROM options. And when it comes to connectivity, the Poco F3 is also 5G ready, up to 23 times faster speed compared to 4G. And it's also compatible with 11 different network bands. The F3 also supports Wi-Fi 6, which is 2.7 times faster than Wi-Fi 5. So when you're at home or at the office, your connection is super fast 
and more stable. No lag during gaming. No more time wasted on buffering videos. Be speed only. Now this is Poco F3, the real beast performance. Snapdragon 870, which features a 3.2 gigahertz prime core speed, one of the best processor in the industry. Flagship ROM and RAM, 5G and Wi-Fi 6 ready. Now we talked about how beast the Poco F3's performance is. I think many people may be asking, what about display? And I can tell you with all the confidence in the world, we have a real beast display. Fans watching the stream, you won't be disappointed. What we had to make sure first is the screen's got to be big. A beast screen size, 6.67 inch, comfortable for daily viewing and any sort of gaming or content watching. Then we decided to go with a flat screen. Now, as some of the Poco fans know, I'm a gamer, and as a gamer, I actually can't stand mistouches. With the flat screen, the chances of mistouches and edge is close to none. And to guarantee a full screen experience, we decided to go with a dot display. It was a decision made by how many fans appreciated and really enjoyed the viewing experience from our X3 NFC. Well, for the Poco F3, we actually did a little minor change and took it to the next level. The F3 has a 2.76 millimeter dot display. That's super small. And if we compare and take Samsung Galaxy S21's dot display, for example, it has a size of 3.61 millimeter. Our 2.76 millimeter tiny dot is an industry leading tiny dot, making sure it's as immersive as it gets. Now we talked about how big and immersive the screen is, but our screen is also AMOLED. Not just any AMOLED, and I know this was an ask by fans on Twitter and has been all over the media in the last few months and almost a year, but our AMOLED is an E4 AMOLED, flagship level, one of the best screens out there. To give some fans who don't know what E4 AMOLED is, let me break it down for you. It has a peak brightness of 1,300 nits, a contrast ratio of 5 million to 1, and the high brightness level is actually at 900. So the colors will be bright and vibrant even under the sun. And compared to last generation's AMOLED material, E3, E4 actually uses 15% less power, which helps conserve battery in general, a true beast display. Now, this beast display also supports true color, which is the tuning of the color of your content to the most realistic accuracy, a must-have feature, especially when you're watching a lot of content. For me personally, I love documentaries like Planet Earth, and I've watched Planet Earth on this screen, and it brings everything to life. But as a flagship display, it must also have HDR10+, giving our users crystal clear clarity for all their content. Let's take a look at the effect. If you look at the comparison, you can see that with HDR10+, the video quality is even more vibrant and clear. It optimizes each frame to its best brightness possible, even the parts of the video where it's dark. Now we also have MEMC. This is an awesome feature. Let's check it out. What MEMC does is intelligently analyze the video as you watch, creates additional frames to give you a smooth, clear video better than you would have had without. It's amazing. And on top of all the great features we have, we also have a 360-degree light sensor. It can detect the lighting environment around you and adjust the brightness accordingly. Actually, we also have true display function. This is to protect your eyesights and making sure when staring at your screen during different environments. We have true display technology to ensure not just the brightness we're adjusting, but also the color warmth on your screen. When I use my phone all day and all night, which I do a lot, I really appreciate this feature. It's a lot less stress on my eyes. So with all these features, the Poco F3 display 
is not actually only just flagship level. It's really one of the best displays out there in the industry with a 6.67 inch flat display featuring a 2.76 millimeter tiny dot. In E4 AMOLED that supports all the optimizing features, this is F3's real beast display. Well, now we've actually got to talk about the gaming, the real beast gaming experience. Having that awesome 870 processor, a wildly good screen, is going to be quite the combo for our gamers out there. But we've got more optimizations for you. First, our screen is 120 hertz refresh rate. On top of the E4 AMOLED we just talked about, 120 hertz plus E4 AMOLED. Crazy good. But 120 hertz is actually getting a bit more common in the flagship segment. Let's take it up a notch. Touch sampling rate. The POCO F3 features a super high touch sampling rate of 360 hertz. Absolute beast. Now, 360 hertz is one of the industry's highest touch sampling rate available, and it's a crucial feature for the gamers out there. With this, you can stay one step ahead among your enemies or with your friends. To give you a reference of how good 360 hertz is, we can simplify it like this. 120 to 180 hertz touch sampling rate are usually found in the average entry to mid-range smartphones. Hitting 240 hertz, there are some flagships and performance phones out there using it. But 300 plus, you're reaching a whole new level now. Let's take a look at a comparison against one of the flagship devices on the market, Samsung S21, which features a 240 hertz touch sampling rate. And for our beast gamers out there, we also have Game Turbo 4.0 on the F3, which has an awesome advanced GPU tuner that allows you to tweak your in-game settings in one place. So it makes adjusting graphics settings much easier. To take it up on a hardware level, we also have a dual speaker setup on the Poco F3, an essential for gaming and for daily usage in general. Honestly, I've used a single speaker phone for a while, and when you're wielding it horizontally, you will sometimes block the speakers on one side, and the sound is just gone. It's very irritating. But with dual speakers, you're getting a louder audio, and it's less likely for you to block both speakers. But this dual speaker is special. It's got Dolby Atmos to make the sound even better, making your audio experience better than you expect fully optimizing the stereo sound from the dual speakers. Now we have a video from Dolby Atmos, and let's take a look. Hello everyone. My name is Mahesh Balakrishnan, and I lead Dolby's audio business globally. We at Dolby are looking forward to the launch of the POCO F3, because not only are we thrilled to extend the extraordinary Dolby Atmos experience to smartphones from POCO, but we are also proud of the spectacular work done by POCO in enabling a world-class entertainment experience on the F3. With Dolby Atmos available in the POCO F3, consumers can access a robust library of movies and TV shows in the Dolby Atmos format from the most popular media streaming applications and with unparalleled detail, depth, and realism. No matter if you're listening through headphones or built-in speakers, sounds will flow all around you in a lifelike soundscape as you enjoy your favorite movies, TV shows, music, and games in Dolby Atmos. It really allows you to experience the finer details that the content creators wanted you to hear. And with our intelligibility features, your audio experience is elevated further with greater clarity, even in noisy environments, allowing you to stay engaged in your favorite content. On behalf of Dolby, I wish POCO a successful launch of the POCO F3 and look forward to continuing to work with POCO and bring groundbreaking experiences to more consumers. Thank you. Pretty amazing, right? 
But actually, we have more. Other than Dolby Atmos, we also have high-res audio and high-res audio wireless that works in harmony without dual speakers. This is a real beast audio experience. And lastly, we can't forget the feel of the phone. This is a huge part for the overall experience. When how you feels when you click each button. For a lot of influencers out there and tech enthusiasts, this is one of the feature that can immediately identify a good phone and an average phone. By using the x-axis linear motor, you're getting a crisp feedback from every touch. To sum up F3's beast gaming performance, at the core we have the Snapdragon 870, 120 hertz refresh rate, flagship, 300 hertz touch sampling rate, simply groundbreaking. Game Turbo 4.0 that helps you optimize graphics with ease. Dual speakers that is working alongside with Dolby Atmos and Hi-Res Audio. X-axis linear motor, a flagship feedback hardware that makes the whole experience just so complete. This is Poco F3's Beast Gaming Experience. Now we talked about how fast the F3 is, how powerful, how smooth, but how beautiful. Because the real beast design, I can tell you for certain, there is beauty in this beast. Let's take a quick peek at the video. Let's start off these two classy colors. At first, when you put them together, simply elegant. But let's introduce the F3 in night black. Now, being the real beast it is, this elegant black is so stealth. It's as if it's ready to hunt during the night. Absolutely gorgeous. Then we have the F3 in Arctic white, in a matte finish. Imagine this if it was a beast running across a snow plain. Now, personally, I've always been a fan of darker color phone, but this white really stands out and it's really special. But we do have another color, a different type of beast. Unleash the Kraken. Now, when we first came up with this color design, we imagined it as if it was a beast from the ocean. Let's take a look. This is the F3 in deep ocean blue, the great blue beast. Now this blue, man oh man, we pushed our ID design to the limit because it's not just one blue, it's three different blue all together with different tone and design. I honestly think this is one of the coolest design phones I've seen. For all these three colors, we have Arctic White, Night Black, and Deep Ocean Blue. Arctic White is super elegant. Night Black, simply stealth. And Deep Ocean Blue, just very different. Let us know in the comments below in the stream which one is one of your favorites? If you ask to ask me to choose one, I'm having trouble choosing between Arctic White and Deep Ocean Blue. But besides but making this beast beautiful, we also considered how it feels, how it weighs. The F3 is super thin, only at 7.8 millimeter, making it our thinnest Poco smartphone yet. And it weighs only 196 grams. So the overall feel of this device is very light and comfortable to hold. But what actually makes this even more impressive, we managed to put in a huge battery of 4,520 milliamp in the F3, which can last for two days on a single charge. Remember, considering the fact that we have a A70, a 120 hertz AMOLED, and a thin design, and now a big battery to support it. That's impressive, right? This beast is thin yet powerful. 7.8 millimeter thin with a big battery of 4,520 milliamp. There's only very few devices on the market that is this thin with a battery this size. Beastly designed and built. And on a single charge, you can get up to 10 hours of gaming, 14 hours of video playback, and 149 hours of music. 
and 23 hours of phone call. And at one point, when you do need to charge up, we have the 33 watt fast charging, which only takes 52 minutes to charge to 100%. That's less than an hour, and you're good to go. Of course, we do include a 33 watt inbox charger as well. But on the side of the phone, we have actually further refined our side fingerprint sensor. We flattened the usual fingerprint design and made this more seamless, made it more elegant and clean. To sum it all up, we've got three beastly colors, Arctic white, night black, and a deep ocean blue. Honestly, any of these three colors match any style. Only 3.8 millimeter thin and 196 grams paired with a huge battery of 4,520 milliamp that supports 33 watt fast charging. Very few in the market. And we also actually have Corning Gorilla Glass 5 to make sure the F3 has a sturdy build all around. A new refined side fingerprint sensor. This is Poco F3's real beast design. And let's go on through camera. For the F3, we have a triple camera setup, a 48 megapixel main camera, a 119 degree ultra wide, and a telemacro camera that has an autofocus between the distance of three centimeters to seven centimeters, really allowing you to capture close and clear. Let's see through the eyes of the beast and see some sample shots. When you use the F3 main camera, you can get really detailed shots like this. Now, if you take a look at this picture closely, first, you will see how detailed the architecture is. But it also captured the light reflection of the metal perfectly. As our model is holding the light sticks on the right side, you can see the ratio of light bounce off the metal on the right is brighter than the left. The details here are sharp. Then we also have night mode with the, for the main camera. With the lights around a model turning on night mode, giving more contrast accuracy on the photo. And overall, this photo is just a very cool shot. And when it comes to ultra wide, which allows you to capture a lot more, 119 degree more, when you're at a distance and trying to capture something very large, turn on that ultra wide to capture the full picture. And now my favorite, telemacro shot. Now at first, you may think this is a glass globe with binary numbers designed on it, but actually, we placed a transparent glass marble on a glass surface and shot the reflection of the display in the back. Super creative and super cool. Telemacro shots can always make the picture seem like it's a whole different thing. We used a similar scenario and changed the background and was able to get this effect. Honestly, a great lens that really allows you to get creative. Easy to set up and can be easily shot at home. But not just our main lens can get you creating. We've also got some new video features that lets you become a content creating beast. We have six new video modes. To be specific, one click video modes. Now we call it one click video modes because you can just turn on the function and click record. It will automatically edit your content and make this effect. It's super easy. Let's take a look at a montage of all six modes. Now that was a sick video. But besides those awesome one-click video features, 
we have something that is very cool and unique. A dedicated microphone in the back camera setup that works alongside with your video recording. Using this awesome feature, you can use audio zoom. When you're shooting a video on the F3, and when you want to zoom in, using audio zoom function, it will follow the distance as you zoom in and capture the sound from a distance. Honestly, that's very mind-blowing that we can have this function in a smartphone. Now, we also have shot a video, and let's take a look at the sample. This is the real Beast camera. With the AI triple camera powered by the Snapdragon 870, including telemacro and 119 degree ultra wide, and the easy one click video modes that allows you to be super creative easily. Audio zoom supported by the dedicated microphone in the back. Poco F3 real Beast camera. Let's recap everything we've gone through so far a flagship processor, the Snapdragon 870, B-Speed, LPDDR5 plus UFS 3.1, flagship ROM and RAM setup, 5G ready, and we also have Wi-Fi 6, giving you the best connectivity, a 6.67-inch dot display featuring E4 AMOLED, one of the latest and best AMOLED technology on the market. It also supports 120 hertz refresh rate and 360 hertz touch sampling rate, giving you the smoothest gaming experience. X-axis linear motor for crisp feedback. Dolby Atmos dual speakers offering an immersive stereo experience. A 48 megapixel main camera that features a ton of software. Audio zoom with a dedicated microphone. Then powering all of this, is a 4,520 milliamp that supports 33 watt fast charging in a 7.8 millimeter thin device. Poco F3, the real beast. Now let's take a look at the product video. Now, the part where I know all the fans on the line is waiting for, price. With all the specs we talked about, how much can you get the F3? Now, if we take a look at the specs comparison with our competitors, you can see that in most feature, we stand out more. We perform better. Better processor, better display, flagship refresh rate, and touch sampling rate. Their price around 800 to 860 euros. That's a pretty big price tag. For the Poco F3, for our first option, the 6 gigabyte plus 128 gigabyte option, we have a wild price at 349 euros. Now, 349 euros for all those Beast features. This price is almost the same price as when we first launched our Poco F1. And yes, we do have an early bird price. We'll bring it down even lower. 299 euros. Isn't that amazing? Because there's actually a special reason we did this price for. This specific early bird price of 299 euros was the exact same early bird we did for the Poco F1 three years ago when we first launched it in Europe. We want to thank our fans' support for this brand and for our F-Series. This price is crazy. It really doesn't get better than this. And for our higher variant, the 8GB 
plus 256 gigabyte option, we also have a great price of 399 euros. Now, below 400 euros, you can get the F3 on its highest variant. But we also have an early bird of 349 euros. This is currently our most aggressive pricing with our F series. If we come back to this chart with the price and specifications, we're actually priced at less than half of what our competitors is pricing at. This is absolutely insane value. Performance to value ratio is off the charts. Now, availability, the F3 will be first sold on these platforms, starting from March 27th to April 6th. Channel availability may vary between markets, so don't miss out. But don't worry, we do have more platforms coming. Make sure to follow our official accounts in your region to stay up to date on when it will be available. We actually still have one more update. Just like the X3 Pro, at the F3, we will still have that free of charge one screen replacement within six months. So the Poco F3, the real beast, can be tamed for just 299 euros and 349 euros. Flagship processor, flagship display, flagship experience. It's got it all. I would like to invite Kevin back on stage. Kevin? This is our flagship line up today. The Poco F3 and the X3 Pro. 4G flagship and 5G flagship. Both awesome devices with amazing value. That's all for today, and we really hoped you enjoy the stream. Stay safe, and we will see you very soon. Hello everyone, how is everyone doing today? Welcome to the POCO first online launch event in 2021. My name is Kevin, I'm the head of POCO Global. Since last year in May, we launched the POCO F2 Pro, which was at the time, and even now, one of the most affo affordable flagship killer with a Snapdragon 865. Then, we had the POCO X3 NFC, which really disrupted the mid-range market with the flagship specs such as 120 hertz refresh rate and 240 touch sampling rate and the features like dual speakers. And the POCO M3 was the entry-level battery based, packing 6,000 mAh battery and all the essential and more. All three devices were loved by the media and was really priced for its performance and value. It's a brand new design website with the ability to purchase pro products. We will upgrade the Poco community to be available on Android as well. You can experience Poco community with a tailored made UI and I look forward to seeing you guys on there. It's available on Google Play Store. Make sure to download this. As of right now, we've shipped out more than 13 million POCO smartphones around the world. As a three-year-old brand, this was a achievement that's really proud of and gives the POCO team more confidence than ever. With our philosophy of exactly what you need, we were able to nail down camera, design, performance, and battery. But at POCO, we want to make sure we can do more, making sure we meet even more fans' needs. So 
I would like to welcome Angus on stage to talk about today's upcoming products. Thank you, Kevin. And hello, everyone. My name is Angus, and I'm the head of product marketing at Poco. Let's talk about exactly what you need and more. Introducing our latest X series, the Poco X3 Pro. With the Poco X3 NFC, we global debuted the 732G, a great mid-range chipset. For the Poco X3 Pro, we'll be releasing the leading 4G processor in 2021, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860. As an 800 series processor, it uses a flagship structure. And only a seven nanometer process, and this prime core has a pretty high 2.96 gigahertz speed, offering a ton of power. The Snapdragon 860 comes with the Qualcomm Adreno 640, got a very high Antutu benchmark of around 490,000. Among the 4G chipsets, this is definitely one of the best scores, if not the best. UFS 3.1. Which is a standard in high-end flagships these days, but still pretty rare in the mid-range segment, offering a complete flagship performance. The Snapdragon 860, the leading 4G processor, up to 8 gigs of RAM, flagship level, and UFS 3.1 up to 256 gigs, and still kept expandable storage and pushed that to one terabyte. We still have a huge battery. Of 5,160 milliamp, offering easily two days battery. So Poco X3 Pro, more performance with flagship 4G processor, flagship 8 gigs RAM option, flagship UFS 3.1 storage, up to 256 gigabyte, that awesome 5,160 milliamp battery with 33 watt fast charging, and of course we did keep the liquid cool technology 1.0 plus for sustainable performance. Now, thanks to the performance upgrade, the Poco X3 Pro can get even more creative than before. Using the A60 with the AI performance boost, more software features are made available. Let's take a look at the X3 Pro's camera. Now, the X3 Pro still features a quad camera setup, a 48 megapixel main camera using the Sony IMX582, a 119 degree ultra wide camera. A macro camera and a depth sensor, but because we have the Snapdragon 860 AI capabilities, we can capture not just during the day but also at night. But most importantly, we do have the video features that's powered by the Snapdragon 860, specifically video clones and dual video. This is Poco X3 Pro's camera, with more software features powered by the Snapdragon 860, and maintaining a quad camera setup from last generation. And now for design, we've also changed a little bit on the X3 Pro. The Poco X3 NFC was a unique-looking device, but we want to make it even cooler than before, and it's still a flagship-level display that features 120 hertz refresh rate and 240 hertz touch sampling rate. On the X3 Pro, we added Corning Gorilla Glass 6, giving flagship-level display protection. So to sum it all up, on the X3 Pro's design, we have three new colors: phantom black, frost blue, and metal bronze. All three looks really good. Anti-fingerprint sides to keep it more clean. A massive 6.67-inch dot display that still maintained 120 hertz refresh rate and 240 hertz touch sampling rate. All that protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 in the front. This is exactly the design and display you need, and more. So we kept some great features from the Poco X3 NFC: big battery of 5,160 milliamp and 33 watt fast charge, 120 hertz refresh rate, and 240 hertz touch sampling rate on a 6.67 inch dot display. The dual speakers. 
the Z-axis linear motor, NFC, IR blaster, and headphone jack. The features we had in exactly what you need. And when it comes to more, we gave you a 800 series processor, the 860 leading 4G processor, up to 8 gigabyte of RAM, up to 256 internal storage of UFS 3.1, and Corning Gorilla Glass 6 and a quad camera with more software features. This is exactly what you need and more. Price. I believe today we won't disappoint our fans at all. We will be offering a great price. But for the X3 Pro, for our base variant of 6 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte, we do have an amazing price. We actually have a early bird pricing on the base variant for 199 euros. If we take a look at this chart, look at the upgrades, then the retail price and the early bird compared to the X3 NFC, can you see how amazing and crazy this pricing is? If we break it down, our retail price for the Pro is 20 euros less than the X3 NFC, and 50 euros less in early bird. Now, for our higher variant of 8 gigabyte plus 256 gigabyte, we also have an amazing price. For the high variant, we actually have an early bird price of 249 euros. Now, to get this crazy price phone, the X3 Pro, it will be available from March 24th to April 1st on early bird pricing specifically for these channels. Our new official POCO website will be one of the first channels you can check out. So make sure you mark your calendars. Now, we'll also be coming soon on a lot more platforms. So please follow our official accounts in your regions to stay up to date on when it will be available. The long-awaited POCO F3. And the team came up with one term to really describe what the POCO F3 is. The real beast. Now let's get started. Let's talk about this real beast. I know our fans can't wait. The Snapdragon 870. One of the latest Qualcomm 800 series chipset. And that is its prime core. This Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 have a leading prime core speed of 3.2 gigahertz. The GPU structure is using the Adreno 650. By using this structure and paired with our prime core, the GPU experience has also improved. The question of POCO F3's N2 score, it actually scored a very high score of 640,000. To sum it all up, it's simple. The Snapdragon 870 in the POCO F3 is one of the best processors in the industry right now, offering B speed. With such an awesome processor, we had to also match up RAM and ROM. Technology up to 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 and up to 8 gigabyte of RAM from LPDDR5, offering beast RAM and ROM options. Now, this is POCO F3, the real beast performance. Snapdragon 870, which features a 3.2 gigahertz prime core speed one of the best processor in the industry, flagship ROM and RAM, 5G and Wi-Fi 6 ready. And I can tell you with all the confidence in the world, we have a real beast display. What we had to make sure first is the screen's got to be big, a beast screen size. The F3 has a 2.76 millimeter dot display. That's super small. And if we compare and take Samsung Galaxy S21's dot display, for example, it has a size of 3.61 millimeter. It's an E4 AMOLED, flagship level, one of the best screens out there. To give some fans who don't know what E4 AMOLED is, let me break it down for you. So with all these features, the POCO F3 display is not actually only just flagship level. It's really one of the best displays out there in the industry with a 6.67 inch flat display featuring a 2.76 millimeter tiny dot an E4 AMOLED that supports all the optimizing features. This is F3's real beast display. Well, now we've actually got to talk about the gaming, the real beast gaming experience. Having that awesome 870 processor, a wildly good screen, is going to be quite the combo for our gamers out there. 
but we've got more optimizations for you. First, our screen is 120 hertz refresh rate. On top of the E4 AMOLED we just talked about, 120 hertz plus E4 AMOLED, the POCO F3 features a super high touch sampling rate of 360 hertz. And for our beast gamers out there, we also have Game Turbo 4.0 on the F3. To sum up F3's beast gaming performance, at the core, we have the Snapdragon 870. 120 hertz refresh rate, flagship. 300 hertz touch sampling rate, simply groundbreaking. Game Turbo 4.0 that helps you optimize graphics with ease. Dual speakers that is working alongside with Dolby Atmos and Hi-Res Audio. X-axis linear motor, a flagship feedback hardware that makes the whole experience just so complete. This is Poco F3's Beast Gaming Experience. Because the real Beast design, I can tell you for certain, there is beauty in this Beast. Let's start off these two classy colors. At first, when you put them together, simply elegant. But let's introduce the F3 in night black. Then we have the F3 in arctic white, in a matte finish. This is the F3 in deep ocean blue. The F3 is super thin, only at 7.8 millimeter, making it our thinnest POCO smartphone yet. We have the 33 watt fast charging, which only takes 52 minutes to charge to 100%. That's less than an hour, and you're good to go. Of course, we do include a 33 watt inbox charger as well. To sum it all up, we've got three beastly colors Arctic white, night black, and a deep ocean blue. Honestly, any of these three colors match any style. Only 3.8 millimeter thin and 196 grams paired with a huge battery of 4,520 milliamp that supports 33 watt fast charging. Very few in the market. And we also actually have Corning Gorilla Glass 5 to make sure the F3 has a sturdy build all around. A new refined side fingerprint sensor. This is Poco F3's real beast design. And let's go on through camera. For the F3, we have a triple camera setup, a 48 megapixel main camera, a 119 degree ultra wide, and a tele macro camera that has an autofocus between the distance of three centimeters to seven centimeters, really allowing you to capture close and clear. We have six new video modes, to be specific, one click video modes. Now we call it one click video modes because you can just turn on the function and click record. It will automatically edit your content and make this effect. You can use audio zoom. When you're shooting a video on the F3 and when you want to zoom in, Using audio zoom function, it will follow the distance as you zoom in and capture the sound from a distance. This is the real beast camera. With the AI triple camera powered by the Snapdragon A70, including telemacro and 119 degree ultra wide, and the easy one click video modes that allows you to be super creative easily. Audio zoom supported by the dedicated microphone in the back. Poco F3 Real Beast Camera. Now, the part where I know all the fans on the line is waiting for, price. With all the specs we talked about, how much can you get the F3? First option, the six gigabyte plus 128 gigabyte option, 299 euros. And for a higher variant, the eight gigabyte plus 256 gigabyte option, but we also have an early bird of 349 euros. This is currently our most aggressive pricing with our F-Series. Now availability, the F3 will be first sold on these platforms, starting from March 27th to April 6th. Channel availability may vary between markets, so don't miss out. But don't worry, we do have more platforms coming. Make sure to follow our official accounts in your region to stay up to date on when it will be available. So the POCO F3, the real beast, can be tamed for just 299 euros and 349 euros. 
flagship processor, flagship display, flagship experience. It's got it all. This is our flagship line up today. The POCO F3 and X3 Pro, 4G flagship and 5G flagship. Both awesome devices with amazing value. That's all for today, and we really hoped you enjoyed the stream. Stay safe, and we will see you very soon.